We now learn how to calculate the mean of a list of data. The mean of a list of data is what we commonly refer to as the average. Be careful though, as the mean of a list of data is a very specific type of average. And there are several other types of averages that we'll be learning about. The first thing we have to do when calculating the mean is to determine how many numbers we have inside our list. Looking here, we can see that we have one, two, three, four, five values in our list. And to state that we have five values, we write n is equal to five, where in statistics, n refers to the number of values that we have. To refer to the mean, we write x with a bar on top of it, and it's equal to the sum of all the values that we have, so I'll just write sum of values, divided by the number of values that we have. So that would be n, and I'll go ahead and box that formula. So for our list of values here, the mean would be equal to the sum of the values, so that's 3 plus 8 plus 7 plus 10 plus 6, divided by the number of values, and we've just seen that's 5, so I'll write 5 on the denominator. Now, adding all the numbers on the numerator here, you can go ahead and check, but we find that that's equal to 34 over 5. Finally, dividing 34 by 5, we find that the mean, that's x bar, is equal to 6.8. And that's the final answer. So the mean of this list of data is equal to 6.8. And the good news is, no matter how large our list of data gets, the method we've just seen will always work. In other words, the mean is always equal to the sum of the values that we have, divided by the number of values that we have. To finish this tutorial, let me quickly point out a different way of writing this formula that you may well come across inside a textbook. We'll often write the following. The mean is equal to the sum of x over n. And I'll just box that result as well. Now here's how to read this formula. As we've just seen, the x bar here represents the mean. So there's no doubt there. And that's equal to the sum. Now this symbol is a capital sigma, and sigma is the Greek equivalent of our letter s. And that's s for sum. The x that we have written here is referring to the different values that we have inside our list. In other words, when we see the letter x here, we can think of that as meaning values. Finally, the n that we have on the denominator, well, as we've just seen in our example, n refers to the number of values that there are inside the list. So when we see this formula, we need to read that the mean is equal to the sum of all the values divided by the number of values. In other words, these two formula mean exactly the same thing. And there we have it. We now know how to calculate the mean of a list of data. And that's it for this tutorial.